what does this new, more open infrastructure need to look like if CSPs are going to be ready for 5G? The edge was our, our world. It was the RAN world. It was the you know, operator's world. We were close to the customers. And for years, and I was saying... you have all the locations. You have all the locations. You have all the but, cell towers. Yeah. Just, just on this and open, right? Just, just I have to pick this up, right? So you mentioned open like Amazon Web Services. Amazon Web Services is not open. You, they have a platform, a very robust platform, and say, if you want to interact with our platform, this is what you use. I didn't say they were open. I yeah, said no. they're the threat. Yeah, they're, well, they're the threat, absolutely. They're the threat. If you don't but, open up and you don't actually... But that's, that's a different open work. up. That's where you expose your assets. Our customers are looking, and the CSP customers, for the openness that would allow them to have a choice of vendors, and then for companies like HP to help drive the standards that will help them open up the network. It's, we need to start building a network that's going to carry five times the traffic that is carried today. But without NFV, we will never be where yeah. we are today. The Intel team that I'm part of actually put out this uh, SDK, uh, Software Development Kit, a library function, where we want to expose the network telemetries upwards. Have an API, you know, both CUPS compliant and SCMAC compliant, expose that upwards. So then, Someone like Church Telecom can monetize because you ultimately you own the network resources. So when they realize 5G is completely based on virtualization, they say, well, maybe we should start actually having a look at that. 5G is actually driving the uptake of NFV and operators. The reason that the GSMA Association is having an event in the US, right, that to provide that level of openness so a Ford Motor Company or BMW can actually implement across all these geographies. Continuing the car analogy, you know, the brake is in the middle, the clutch is on the left, the accelerator is on the right, you have a clutch. Um, that's, that's a standard, right? But yet, we have all different shapes of cars. And I'd rather say, as a driver, right, you can have different experience. As an operator, this is what we expose up. We compete on how we do it. And I think open APIs or an API standard is key, particularly for 5G. There is a perception, which is very widespread, that open source means open to hacking and less secure. Is it more secure? Is it, is it more open to hacking? If it's a closed software development where nobody really knows what the source code, you don't even know if that source code is what you have. I think if we got to take it to the extreme, I would like for Intel to publish their chip designs so others can build an XC. And that is not so different from demanding open source, right? How far do we go? How can we exploit what assets we have? And that for me is not necessarily about opening the, you know, Intel's chip designs. Yeah, just publish them on the web. Off you go, right? It's not about that. It's about, if you take what Intel done way back, so his, here's our x86 architecture. Here if we've evolved to x64, it's a very, obviously, and to do way more than that, but that's how it evolves. I think that's what CSPs have to do, and that's the asset to expose. You've got the, the current version, the release 15, which is based about enhanced mobile broadband. That is the traditional you know, cake of the, of the operators, and that will move ahead, that will be launched, that will carry on going, but it's not a revolution. So that's the big opportunity. Let's work on that URLLC standard for release 16. Let's all get involved with the trials. Let's work out how we monetize it. And the only way you can do that is with real field trials. Building on everything the panel has said so far is that we should just be ready, if it is the next Pokemon Go, that we're not caught catching up, and it should be Pokemon Go on our platform. Telcos suffer with OTT providers, whether it's Netflix, whether any of the over-the-top providers. They struggle because basically they got all the revenue with no infrastructure cost deployments, and the, the telcos bled that. I think now is the opportunity with 5G to reset that.